Well, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Glasgow Business Awards for 2014. Um, thank you uh, to Councillor Matheson for supporting our celebrations tonight and for indeed maintaining a very close relationship with uh, the Glasgow business community. Uh, I would especially like to congratulate uh, Councillor Matheson on successfully negotiating Scotland's very first city deal and securing commitment from the UK and the Scottish governments that will bring over a billion pounds of investment to the Glasgow city region. We announced our support for the principle of city deal at this event last year. Um, and uh, amongst many other economic projects, the deal will fund the delivery of a rail link to Glasgow Airport, an issue... <laughs> an issue which Glasgow Chamber has pursued for many years, as you know. Signing the city deal during one of the busiest years that Glasgow will ever see is a tremendous achievement, so very well done. Commonwealth Games are over, the referendum is passed, but there are many reasons why Glasgow should look forward with genuine optimism. Um, tonight we celebrate another year of business success and we do so in partnership with our steadfast headline sponsor, the Bank of Scotland. Um, the team at the bank help us shape these awards and make sure that they capture the strength and diversity of Glasgow's business community. We are, of course, enormously grateful to the bank for their commitment, so thank you again for your contribution. We have another uh, impressive array of category sponsors as well, all of whom guide the chamber on the judging of the winners. And so let me thank our, our media partner, The Evening Times, uh, Glasgow Caledonian University's Glasgow School for Business and Society, Glasgow City Council, Connect, Jobs and Business Glasgow, ScotRail, Scottish Water and Scottish Power for continuing their support. And I'd also like to thank our new sponsors, Emirates, uh, Global Radio Scotland, The Hilton Glasgow, Radiate, Sabre and The Wise Group. Thank you to all of you. The Chamber's mission uh, is to support our members and to champion Glasgow. We want to make it easy to invest and grow a business in Glasgow and to make it easy to trade all across the world. Uh, during the Commonwealth Games, we were uh, enthusiastic champions of the work of the Glasgow Business Embassy at Scotland House. We helped over a thousand chamber members to experience the Games, either at the Embassy or at the Games events themselves. And throughout the Games, we held relentlessly to a core message about our city. Glasgow, we say, is Scotland's economic powerhouse. This is no longer a city in regeneration. Parts of the city may still require regeneration, and many Glaswegians still have to feel the impact of economic success in their lives. But the city as a whole has moved beyond regeneration and is now on to the next phase of its growth. And, and we have many reasons for saying this. I won't run through these reasons in detail because it usually takes me half an hour to do that, but here is a very, very brief flavor of the case. In economic development, size increasingly matters, and in European terms, we are a big city. With a population of over 1.8 million, we're in the top 30 of European cities. We have a bright, well-qualified population. We hold on to our talent much more effectively than many of our competitors, like Manchester or Birmingham. We work well together as a team, delivering complex projects, just like the Commonwealth Games, and we have a very strong, diverse portfolio of successful industries. We have, for example, a growing life sciences industry with over a third of the small and medium-sized enterprises in the sector in Scotland. And the opening of the new South Glasgow Hospital just around the corner. We have a thriving financial and business services district with new grade A offices springing up all across the city centre. We are the renewable energy capital of Scotland. Our education sector is as proactive as it has ever been in its history, with our universities attracting centres of excellence, overseas students, and striking partnership deals all across the world. Our colleges are poised to be enormous players in tackling disadvantage in our city and in providing the skills that our industry needs. And our tourism industry has, for many years, cracked the business conference market, but it's now poised to benefit from the breakthrough that we expect to see 
following the Commonwealth Games. Those four out of every 10 ticket holders who came from outside Scotland, whom we hope to see back again in the years to come. We are Scotland's world centre for whisky distribution, and we are the heart of Scotland's creative community. And of course, we are rediscovering our talent for engineering. If there's one aspiration which Glasgow Chamber of Commerce in brackets and manufacturers, which is our Sunday name, which we have for the years ahead, it's the full realization of our potential in engineering. We have over 10,000 professional engineers in the city, a wealth of successful companies, world-class ac uh, academic achievement, and a heritage of which we are rightly proud. Glasgow is in as good a position to grow as it has been in 40 years. Attracting investment to success is always an easier job, and Glasgow's business success is making that an easier job as each year goes by. Inevitably, after the year we've just had in an event like the Commonwealth Games, we're asking ourselves, what next? Uh, it, it's no easy task to match a Commonwealth Games, and I would argue that we shouldn't demand of our city leadership that they do that. We should be exploiting our success this year by concentrating on growing our economy and making it progressively easier to do business. That we move into 2015 with a £1 billion city deal in place augurs especially well, therefore. But at the heart of our message, at the heart of the contention that Glasgow is already an economic powerhouse, is the success of our membership, of the businesses of our city. Growing our economy, sharing opportunity with a greater number of Glaswegians, that depends on our businesses doing well. And tonight, we are going to see examples of exactly that. We at the Chamber, we thank all of you for all that you achieve, and I wish you all uh, good luck.